<clears throat> Woo. Hey, it's Jabo. Welcome. <clears throat> hey, it's Jabo. Welcome to Brickstar, your home for vintage Lego. And I got a box from Just Bricks, uh, his Bricklink store. He did a Pablo of this, so I'll try to remember to put a link uh, to the Pablo. So you can see this haul twice. But this time I'll tell you why I'm getting some of the parts. And then we got one from DD Bricks, which will be uh, mainly the parts to build the Eiffel Tower correctly. <laughs> or as I view it, correctly. So got that. So let's show you what's in these packages. And then probably I'll let you know what I've been working on down here in the basement. All right, see what we got from Just Bricks. And why I got it is what we're going to tell you in this video. So I was looking for one item in particular. <clears throat> and it was not this. Oh, is this a sticker? I can put this on my pink bucket thingy. Yeah, so that's the sticker. I'm going to put that on my pink bucket. Um, so this is not something I went to the store for. I just don't recall getting the ugly car. Pretty sure I didn't get this. If I did, and I showed this in another video, somebody please tell me, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. And, um, yeah, so I got that. I don't know why I got it. Uh, it's like one of those <laughs> kid mocks you'd see in the Lego magazine. All right. So, oh, he threw in some extra stuff, but let me uh, get to my order. All right, here we go. So, this is what I went to the store for. <laughs> oh, I can't open the bag. All right. So, he had, well, of course, he had the tipper truck. This, I think he had one of these, the windshields, which I need for a tipper truck army, and I got one of the single wheels and it looks like there's a headlight brick and i went there for these fish uh, these <clears throat> these fish were in belleville sets in particular uh, but i'm using them to finish up the thing that m r productions gave me at brick fair and i needed one of these fish and i'm thinking uh, i'll talk more about it when i get to that video but it showed, I think, this color fish, but I went ahead and got all the varieties that he had. But I think the picture showed this one. I got paint on my hands. I've been painting. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the it, it may have been substituted because the thing that Ryan gave me was made in 2013. This was not in any sets by then. So, it, but it definitely showed in the picture. So that's why I got these. Uh, for that build, that was the last Lego piece I need. I still need something else um, for that. And we got this. Uh, this I can't read it. Maybe Bricky could ride in a tipper. Oh. <laughs> I'll put him in a big tipper. How about that? And it looks like these were extra. He says, my contribution to the chipper truck army. So these were not from my order. These were extras that he threw in including the rare 4x10 plate and some more single wheels so he found some more so i'm gonna put bricky right here for now on the big tipper all the other the single built tippers or well there's a few like over here but uh yeah i'm gonna put you on the big one there bricky there you go uh, i got the rest of them are in the boxes upstairs so I ended up in JB's store again, looking for the fish. I was going through one by one, looking for people that had the fish. And then uh, I had other items. There, was, there were some people that had the fish and they didn't have anything else in the store that I wanted. <laughs> but JB did. And then he threw in these extra things there. But yeah, I went there for mainly the, uh, the fish there. All right, so now let's see what we got from yeah, and you end up getting stuff you, you're totally not expecting like this. Uh, this is my DD's brick. I guess this is my first order that I've received from them this year. But we ordered a lot from them last year. Uh-oh, I cut my back. <laughs> Be careful with the knife. So these are tipper truck parts right here for sure. Oh, he uses tape and... Oh, 
goodness, this is hard. Uh oh, two by fours are falling all over the place. Oh man, they're going everywhere. It's bleeding two by fours. Whoops. <laughs> and then, oh goodness. One thing about his horse, hard to open these packages. There we go. Uh oh, two by fours going everywhere. There. And then, what else do we got? We got, ah, this is what we needed. We got the trans black windows for the Eiffel Tower. We got various tools and, and Fabuland parts there. He had some 4x10 plates. And then I got the 2x4 slope pieces for making more large vehicles. These are for the blue track. And then these are all for the tipper truck. So mainly got a bulk quantity of 1x4s and 2x4s for tipper trucks. That's for tipper trucks, train tracks, building large vehicles. But the main thing I went to the store for or these windows, which go to that bad boy. So I'm going to substitute all those out. So I already changed out the trans clear antenna. I put the the metallic silver up there, and now now that I got all these windows from Dee Dee's bricks. Yeah, I probably should have gone with new. I, I, I went with used. Uh, they are they're not the the prettiest windows in the in the bunch here but oh these go this way so now now i'm gonna go around the edge here Man, this is not as easy as i thought all it is is a tile on top of the windows why can i not do this easily oh come on man these things are really attached i'm gonna break some oh goodness i'm gonna break something else off of this trying to get these off whoops Oh boy. I really did it now. But yeah, I'm going <clears> to <throat> go around and put trans black all the way across. And, uh... whoa. Yeah, those are pretty bad. <laughs> That's the price you pay when you. Um... Oh, this is two pieces. I'm dangerous picking it up like that but anyway yeah those trans black windows were not the best condition that's what happens when you buy used but uh, I can live with it maybe one day I'll polish those up and they're not all the same level of trans black some of them are lighter than others but yeah, you have to really look from this angle if you look outside it you can see them more but yes yeah, so i changed all those out now this thing is more anatomically correct <laughs> uh, the eiffel tower so yeah so now i don't have to worry about that anymore i can finally figure out where to put this thing well i don't know i'll probably still leave it on the table but yeah we put the trans black windows in there got the metallic silver antenna at the top so yeah, we can we can uh, say that we now have a complete Eiffel Tower. I just need to find the instructions. Uh, you're in those that are watching this video and you haven't seen the other ones. You're like, you already built it. Why do you need the instructions? It's I, for my completeness sake. I like to have the instructions for any set that I own that that came with instructions. Don't necessarily need the box, but I do want the instructions. All right, so that's the Eiffel Tower done. Thanks. Uh, DD Bricks for helping me finish that. And thank you, JB's Brick Kiln, uh, who's over here. Uh, they got the little bricky over there. And I'm going to go. This short video. Is this short video? I don't know. Oh, I, I said I was going to show you uh, what I was working on. So let me do that. So technically, the Eiffel Tower well, was something I was working on, but I'm working on stacking these higher. <laughs> uh, I, I, for stability's sake, I decided to put this plywood. And surprisingly, these shelves that I used somewhere else, I think they were on the old table, they work pretty good here. I want to put one more row uh, or one more section of uh, these oh, things you get at Home Depot because the only people that have them, they're less than 30 bucks. Been parting out the Chima. I set these here temporarily. They were in the other room, uh, but I've parted out a lot of Chima sets.
And I've been starting with the ones that are the higher quantity. So now we're down to a few things. But I got to get more room in the store. I don't have really, I got 300 plus lots that don't have a place in the store. So before I start on these here, I uh, need to have, uh, get those drawers that I ordered from Home Depot. And I did start again putting things in the, the these uh, binders. This is all that I have that's in the 2000s. There are not many sets numbered in the 2000s, apparently, or at least that I own. So that's the 2000s. This is all of the 1000s here. Uh, I'm sure there's more uh, in other places. Uh, but yeah, that's my 1000s instructions. So I got those put away and everything under a thousands up here. So I'm making progress on putting uh, the instructions in order. No progress on the Fabuland City. These vintage sets are in the way. Um, I'm thinking I might need to put it up temporarily. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Uh, no, I'll leave it on time. Oh, shoot. I got the instructions to the Fabuland sets over here. I'll probably need to put those since I'm about to get to the 3000s and then figure out which ones I'm missing pieces sort these I need to have a Fabuland container for Fabuland spare parts so it's not all piled on the table here uh, like this and then up here on top of the table I'm starting to group things better uh, these are Legoland sets uh, I'm starting to group together these are the maxi figure I forgot what's in here Oh, there's more maxi figure stuff up there. It's my bucket. I put JB here on the inside. I'm running out of space on everything. Uh, JB sticker is going on there. Got a few more that I need to put on that people have given me. I didn't build it. Jacob built that. Just got to find a place to put it. Ooh. And then the last thing, all these are things I've parted out. All those trays, the new trays we just got, things we've parted out. And then up here, more things I've parted out that I just don't have a place to put in the BrickLink store. Whoa! for now every drawer is full for now uh, but yeah that's what i've been working on and i'm going to drink my coke and i'll see you guys in the next video